it's your girl Mrs. Island Breeze and I am here with the very first installment of my holiday readiness series and today's topic is turkeys. So I know Thanksgiving is here and if you've never hosted Thanksgiving dinner before or maybe this year you're not even hosting but you're responsible for the turkey for the very first time, that can be a really scary feeling. It's a big deal. No one wants to mess up the Thanksgiving turkey. So today I'll be sharing my top five tips for first time turkey makers. Let's get started. Tip number one, size matters. The smaller the turkey, the less meat per pound you're going to be getting. So you really want to think about how many people will we be hosting? Now, generally a good rule of thumb to follow is about one pound per person, but you know your guests best. Maybe they eat less turkey and they eat more ham, or maybe you're going to have a lot of vegans at the party, so you don't need that much turkey at all. You'll know that better than anyone, so adjust up or down accordingly. I think that generally the sweet spot is 12 to 16 pounds. I recommend that you stay away from the larger birds for two reasons. Once you get over kind of that 20 pound mark, the birds are gonna take a lot longer to defrost, but then it also has the increased risk that it's not going to cook evenly. So even if you're having a really large party and it means getting two birds instead of one mega bird, I think that's the better option. It's gonna provide you with a better flavor and more evenly cooked turkey. Tip number two, get the frozen turkey. Now I know you may be shocked to hear me say go with frozen. Generally in my kitchen, I try to use the freshest ingredients that I can get my hands on. But here's the thing, with fresh turkeys, by the time it makes it to you as the consumer, it's usually been a few days already anyway. And on top of that, there's usually a mark of about 50% between a frozen turkey and a fresh turkey. And here's the thing, I've had both. I don't know that the taste difference is really noticeable. So save your coins, get the frozen turkey. Don't feel like you have to get the fresh turkey. If you want to, that's fine, but there's nothing wrong with frozen. Tip number three, give yourself enough time. Making a turkey is not a last minute or a day of event. Really, you need to prepare yourself for two to three days, and that may sound excessive, but let's think about all the things that have to happen. You have to get the turkey, you have to defrost the turkey, you have to clean the turkey, you have to brine the turkey, you have to season the turkey, and then you have to actually bake the turkey. There are a lot of steps involved. You'll be a lot less stressed if you go in with the expectation that, hey, this is going to take me some time. Tip number four, brine the turkey. Brine is just a fancy word for a saltwater solution. So what you're gonna do is after you've defrosted the turkey and you've cleaned out the turkey, then you're gonna put it in a saltwater bath. Why do we do this? Two things, you want to get some of that salt absorbed into the turkey, but then you also want some of that moisture in the turkey so that when you are baking the turkey, it stays juicy and moist and doesn't dry out and that it's nice and flavorful. And speaking of flavorful, that brings me to our fifth and final tip, season the turkey. I know that some people may say, well, you've brined the turkey. Why do you need to season it? If you have been following me for a while, or even if you've seen my episode of Guy's Grocery Games, you know that in my house, flavor is king. And there is nothing worse than having a beautiful turkey on the table for Thanksgiving day that is bland as all get out. So there are lots of different ways you can do this. In the past, I've done occasion seasoning. I've done like a lemon butter herb seasoning where I've put lemon butter under the skin of the turkey and I had thyme and rosemary and all kinds of things to help really bring out those natural flavors of the turkey. It's not that there's one specific way, but you do wanna make sure that you appropriately season your turkey so that you can really allow the turkey to speak for itself and enjoy the turkey. No one wants a dry, bland turkey. Those are my five tips for this Thanksgiving if you're a first time turkey maker. I will be adding more videos for my holiday series, so I hope to see you back again. Be sure to check me out on my website, www.mrsislandbreeze.com. You'll find all kinds of holiday recipes. 
And then you can also follow me on social media. You can find me at Mrs. Island Breeze on Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm looking forward to seeing you all again and happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Bye.